Yes. Two glowstone. Glowstone block. Iron. Gold. <laughs> Macerator. Gold dust. Gold bar number one. Gold bar number two. Out of the electric furnace. Cha-ching. Diamonds are easy. Hello everybody, Orb24 here, coming at you with another Minecraft video. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, may be thinking to yourselves, what the heck is this? Or you may already know what this is. Uh, as you can see in the last hardcore server, I was getting relatively frustrated with the hardcore. I'm taking a little bit of a break from it, and I took a little bit of a break from Minecraft. But I thought to myself, what? What could I do with Minecraft? What what makes it fun again? Because I do still enjoy hardcore, I was just getting frustrated with it. I'll be going back to that. I just needed a little break. And then I remembered seeing on the Yogg's cast, the Technic Pack. Yes, the Technic Pack. And that's what this is. And it is amazing. As you can see, I'm at 1.8.1 for this. It actually just recently came out for 1.8.1. And, uh... As you can see, I was able to make it so that I took your simple sugar and ran it through a process to the point where it eventually outputs a diamond. So, uh, it took a little bit of work and it's uh, not the most efficient thing in the world. As you can see, it's uh, it just went to work right there. But it's really not the most efficient thing in the world. I don't get a lot of sugar cane out of my harvest. I have a lot of loss. And, uh... I think the best way to go about this is I'm just going to have to make more and more farms and just hope I get more sugar cane. But you see, it all starts off right here with the sugar cane coming from the f harvest, going into this first automatic crafting box, and then the magic starts happening from there. But uh, using the red power mod, I have this timer every, I believe I put it to five minutes. Yep. Every five minutes it sends a pulse out to all of these pistons. These pistons then, by that time hopefully the sugar cane has grown high enough. See I have a, I have a fair chunk of loss there. One, two, three, four. I have four just on the top that didn't get harvested. I mean those four, four more sugar, that much closer to a glowstone. But anyway. The pistons push off the top two layers. Hopefully there are two layers, but I mean, it's as much as it gets in five minutes. Pushes them down and they fall into those obsidian pipes. 
and those obsidian pipes then let them drain into water, which drops into another obsidian pipe. Which takes you down here. I went with obsidian pipes because it seemed like those are grabbing more of the sugar cane than when I just had straight water flow. After it drops down to this obsidian pipe, it gets shot out of this... It drops down, gets into this gold tube, shot out, and all the way up to where you just saw them go. That I just use as a little maintenance shaft if, uh... For whatever reason, things stop working. I can't imagine they will, though. And then, like I said, and then, like you guys all just saw, it goes into here, to here, to here, through the whole chain of things, until we output diamonds right there. Uh, I can just AFK farm this. It's a fantastic thing. I've that's the second diamond that this thing has produced. Uh, it does take a while. I wish I knew a more efficient way, but I don't. I have seven diamonds. I've found a couple while I've been mining. Uh, anytime I, I'm i not AFK while I'm doing this, I can always uh, I can stimulate my process a little bit. I just harvest my sugar cane right there. I run back up and I can just drop it into this chest. And then so I can stimulate, start getting a... Uh, Start getting some glowstone a little bit quicker, which will get me that much closer to another diamond. So anytime I happen to be on and feel like it, I can just stimulate the process a little bit. But, it's not necessary. That diamond that you just saw was completely from automatic. I was away for a while, came back, checked where I was, and I was like, huh, this would be a great time to start up a Minecraft video, getting a diamond. So yeah, that's the way it works. Um... For people that don't know the Technic Pack, I'll give a quick breakdown. These are wooden pipes and cobblestone pipes. Wooden pipes are used to take it out here by this uh, redstone powered engine. It'll take, once it finally is able to make sugar cane, it won't just use the one, it'll wait until there's two in there. So that there's always one in there so it knows the recipe. It'll take the sugar out and it'll process it over to here. These are Philosopher's Stone using the equivalent exchange mod for every six sugar. You get one glowstone dust by using this philosopher's stone. Uh, same thing, pumped out goes here. Make a glowstone, pumped out goes here. Equivalent exchange makes an iron. Pumped out and goes here. Equivalent exchange with uh, four iron makes you a gold. And then this is a this is a macerator. Macerator? I don't know. I don't really know how that's pronounced. I think I usually say macerator. But uh. When you put a gold ore in here, or any ore, it'll come out as two of the dust. So I, as you saw, I got two gold dust out of it. And then I smelted it, and I got two gold ore from it. So I basically took one gold ore block, and instead of smelting it as normal and making it into one gold ore, I was able to double its efficiency and get two gold ore out of it. And then uh, using equivalent exchange, four gold ore makes a diamond. I go chill in this corner, usually right here, hit E, and minimize. And I'll just chill here until I get diamonds. I want to go to, uh, want to go my job for however many hours, I'll just do that. I'll AFK out, and I'll come back to diamonds, is usually the plan. Anyway, that's what I've been doing, Technic Pack. Um, a quick little announcement. Yes, Skyrim comes out this Friday. For those of you that are here strictly for Minecraft, uh, don't worry. There are still going to be Minecraft videos. I'm just going to be splitting focus because there's also going to be a lot of Skyrim being played. I know all weekend, that's all I'm going to be touching is Skyrim. And uh, you can expect that, a video of that to be coming out on Friday. So, Random Game Friday is not going to be so random this time. It's going to be Skyrim. Um, and you can see it's at work once again. And yeah, we're going to get a glowstone block out of it. But anyway, that's what I've been up to in Minecraft. This is the Technic Pack. I found it via the Yogg's Cast. Uh, I, I downloaded this off of Yogg... Yoggiverse? Yogg Universe? Whatever it is. If you just type in Technic Pack, you'll get it. Very easy to install. Just a fresh 1.8.1 and uh, you got it. Anyway, that's all for this episode of Minecraft. Uh, if I start making some more cool things, which I'll be trying to, then I will I'll make some videos and I'll show them. 
I really like this mod, and it's definitely been killing a lot of time. Uh, quick tidbit, solar panels, bat box, MFE, that's how I get power for those. Cool thing. This whole mod, just really cool. Everyone should uh, give it a look if you like this idea of things. If you like redstone, and power, and electricity, and doing cool complicated machines like this, you should definitely give it a look. Anyway, until next time, which will be Friday with Skyrim, this is Orb24, and I am signing out.